uh, years we've done <coughs> both the Phil Womble and the uh, Scholar Athlete, that more and more we're seeing the Phil Womble the next year getting a Scholar Athlete, and this is the same. She got the Phil Womble last year, and she's Scholar Athlete this year. Now, um, if anybody ever thought that uh, dance is not an athletic endeavor, think twice. We all know that anybody who dances is, has to be extremely coordinated, and is certainly a very athletic. Well, this is the first time, though, that I've been able to uh, have somebody who is the head cheerleader also participating in four athletic sports. She's been in volleyball, soccer, basketball, and track and field. So she's a varsity head cheerleader, which is all year round. And she said, you know, soccer and basketball, I can't do them both. So this year, I'm doing soccer. Last year, I did basketball. <laughs> so and as you'll see, I, I don't know where this scale has time to sleep. A few of her records. Um, so she's captain of cheerleading and captain of track and field. In track and field, she's got the school record in the 300 meters and 100 meter hurdles. Um, she's second in the 100 meter dash in high jump. Um, she, uh, in basketball, she got the uh, Jim Bash or Morse Inspirational Award. In volleyball, um, she's first place team uh, this last year. And she's been 14 years in dance and um, so forth. She, she's going on to uh, something, but she's not quite sure, either cheerleading or track and field. So we'll see where she ends up in college. Now, academic-wise, um, current courses, leadership, and of course all AP courses, psychology, literature, biology, and government, and ceramics thrown in there as well. The biggest award that she's had is a, it's a pretty prestigious award. Um, the, there's a John Wooden High School Scholar Athlete Award. And she was given this award during the UCLA basketball game as a, a scholar athlete for Division IV in the CIF. So we're not only honoring her here today, but she's got even bigger awards previous to this. Um, she'll be attending some four-year school. She's not decided yet. Now, in addition to all of that, uh, let me just read this. She says, Associated Student Body, uh, she's been the president of her class every year, and this year she's a uh, president of the Associated Student Body. She is a link crew, uh, link crew leader, which is a, a mentoring uh, group. And she's an environmental club, Spanish club, junior statements of the year, Chinese club, Glee club founder, California Scholar Federation club president, and she does not sleep. Oh. <laughs> so, wow. Want to add a few words to this event? Yes, if I could, I, I feel like I am, I am well versed to speak on Shelby because she, I'm, I have probably watched more of her competitions, except for cheerleading, than, than her mother. Her mother beats me out because she won two of her cheerleading competitions and I did not. Uh, be it, but she participated with both my daughters in track and field and in soccer and in. Uh, Volleyball. So I got. I have witnessed her firsthand in all these sports, and witnessed how great she is. She excels at them. So it's just amazing that she can balance the academics, the athletics, being ASB president, um, and cheer. And, and let me just give you a little example of how her day goes. So she has to be at school for ASB at 7 a.m because it's a zero period class, it starts before school. So then she goes to school, then she'll come to my practice, and then maybe she'll have to cheer at a basketball game, so she'll have to go get changed real fast and run and cheer at the basketball game from seven until whatever time. And then at nine o'clock, then she gets to go and start on her homework. So I, I mean, the fact that she can excel in both athletics and academics and be balanced and be as happy and enthusiastic as she is is just amazing and it's really been my privilege to coach her this year and e even Dan her her basketball coach he even had nice things to say about her how her trademarks were hustle on defense and I know in volleyball I watched her play libero that was her trademark as well um, anything she does she does it full-heartedly 100% passionately and and seems like she really enjoys it so it's just awesome that she can balance all these things it's just been my honor to coach her this year her dad was my daughter's soccer coach before he passed away so it's kind of special for me that I get to coach her so congratulations Shelby thank you
didn't mention that she has a 4.38 GPA. So on behalf of the roundtable, I present you with a scholar athlete award for carpentry for this thank year. Thank you. <coughs> I'd like to say thank you for the roundtable for presenting me with this award, as well as my teachers, all my coaches, my mom, and my principal for being here, for always supporting me in everything I do. Thank you. Kelsey Stimson, Bishop Diego basketball. Kelsey, you scored 26 points and you guys beat St. Bonaventure. You lost them by 31 the last time. What changed? Yeah. Uh, I think that our team is really dependent on an energy that when we come together, it just everything starts working, you know? But when we have our nights where we aren't working together and where we aren't, you know, in sync, I feel like, then things just don't go in. But when we do get that, when, you know, when the weather is right and the combination is good, and everything just goes and it's great and you know where people are and the passes are good and everyone works better. What was working for you in particular in that game? Uh, we, well, two things I would say. One is that I really wanted to beat them. I just, I don't know, I felt, I felt like, you know, the, the rim was a magnet almost, you know, that was bigger, you know, sometimes players will talk about that where they're like, oh, the rim looked bigger and stuff, you know, you see things that are more open and, Maybe it's because I was sick or something and I could just see things better or something. I don't know. You were sick. I was sick. You had the flu or something? Uh, I don't know what it is. My whole team's sick right now, actually. But, wow. Yeah, one of my players has an infection in their tonsils. Wow. All right, speaking of the team, um, goals for the rest of the year? Uh, we really want to go far in CAF. We have six seniors on our team this year. And we are like emotionally and just physically, like all of us, really just going hard. We want to go far. All right, great. We'll hope you guys get healthy. Thank you. All right, we're here with Male Athlete of the Week, J.T. Royston from Providence Hall. I think you're the first Providence Hall uh, athlete to ever win the award. What's that mean to you? Um, yeah, it's really exciting. It's a big honor. I'm so glad that I can represent my school and uh, all the students around me. Um, we're such a really small community, and you know, everyone's just congratulating me today. It means a lot. Now, you had a triple-double this past week. Um, did you kind of know... Were you aware that you possibly had a triple double? At some <laughs> Actually, point? I wasn't aware at all. I thought, well, the team that we were playing was a, a little bit weaker than I expected, and so I just really wanted to um, get some assists to my guys and um, do my part. And I didn't even know. I don't know. I was surprised I even had 15 points. So. A couple closer games in your next two wins, but big numbers. What's been sort of your key to success this year? Um, just finishing strong, big fourth quarters. Um, just making sure that our team. Um, he knows what they're doing and um, execution, just trying to focus. How about goals for you guys in your first year in CIF? Uh, uh, definitely make the playoffs. Um, it would be so huge if we can be the first uh, boys basketball team in Providence Hall history to make the playoffs and um, do well, hopefully go fairly deep in the 6AA division. Awesome. All right, congratulations. Special Olympic Athlete of the Month. I always love doing this. Um, today, uh, one of our coaches is here to talk great things about Lauren. <coughs> Um, we have Lauren Lee Wingate, uh, floor hockey. Also, as we were talking over there, basketball, track and field, tennis. Am I missing anything else? No? Soccer. Soccer, soccer. sorry. Uh, so she's an all-around athlete. Um, and also she works downtown Ralph, so she's seen your finding smiley faces downtown Ralph. So say hi next time you see her down there. Uh, but I want to pass it over to her coach, Jaime, about the great things she's done at floor hockey. Gosh, there's so many things to say great about Lauren Lee um, here. One is her smiles everyone can see, and, and it's no better to see her smile when she's running down the left side, scoring a goal. Uh, we just got back in um, in December, actually, but December? No, June. December, December, we're in December, thank you. All my months are running together. In December, we were um, in San Diego, and Lauren had... In one game, she had two hat tricks, which, which is six goals. For the tournament, over five games, she had 11 goals. So it's just goals, not assists. She was amazing on the left side, and we really appreciate all her hard work. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you.